views. Today I am live with the Gagia uh, Magenta Plus. This is one of the rare super automatic machines that claim to be made in Italy, which is kind of cool. Uh, and it's also part of our series we're doing on kind of super automatics before Black Friday. We want to make sure everybody knows uh, the, mo the most popular ones, and um, we're going to do a nice side-by-side. -side. We just did the DeLonghi uh, Magnifica Evo. We have this one, and then we have one more that we're going to do, and we're going to put them all side-by-side -side so you can make the most educated decision. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on this one. I actually don't know if I'm going to need scissors today, but we're going to find out. Nice little quick unbox here. Looks like we got some metal. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is like a scooping? Looks like a scooper. My cat, I can tell, really wants to be in this video, so she's going to keep making noises. I might have to grab her. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so we have a cord here. She wants to be on the video. Where is she at? <laughs> Hopefully my microphone's good enough. You probably came in here. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we have, this looks like the drip tray probably. These are always kind of difficult to get out, so let me see if I can do this. I do like that um, it seems like it's nice and low in here so it's probably not too terribly difficult to get into yeah not bad um pretty easy unboxing looks like there's a lot of little miscellaneous parts but you know nothing crazy all right we have tape let's see if it leaves a mark no marks a lot of plastic here Feels like nice sturdy plastic, though I will say that. It doesn't seem flimsy. Um, there is some type of sticky thing on here. It literally is like a it's like a picture of what will probably be there when you turn the machine on. Which is kind of odd. Um, okay. Let's get these little doodads off. Obviously, as always, leave some comments if you are live with me. We'll try to answer any questions you have on any coffee-related uh, things. So this is kind of interesting. It says this is the plus. It shows on the box that it has a milk carafe. But here, this is a, this is a normal steam wand, which is pretty rare. Um, it's very, very rare to get a standard, and let me look under it here. Yeah, that's a standard steam wand. You normally get a Panarello, which is not really a true, like a, a, a normal steam wand. It's kind of like automatically trying to steam for you, so you don't need to like learn how to steam. This is kind of cool, though, so if you want to learn how to steam milk and um, get like a true latte foam, this is, this is kind of the way to go, in my opinion. Um, looks like a small water tank that pops out. Ooh, this feels a little flimsy. This, this is a small water tank, folks. Yeah, so I think our pitcher is like 1.7 liters here. So let's, let's fill this up. Ooh. I don't like the way this feels or sounds. Yeah, I don't know. Not not a big fan of this thing yet, but I'm sure that that I'll I'll, uh, I'll see what what it's like in real life. But it seems a little flimsy. Oh, yeah. it fits just about 1.7 liters. That's like almost fully fully filled. Okay. Uh, I have one more piece of plastic here. This is our bean hopper. It looks like it has a dosing, separate doser here, so you can, you know, dose over top there. Um, let me go ahead and 
put all this stuff in. So it looks like there's a drip tray. Let me pull this. Oh, this actually doesn't pull out. Oh. Whoa, that's interesting. That's an interesting mechanism. I've, I don't think I've seen that before, where it, it kind of locks into, into place. Um, here's where your pucks are going to go. It looks like they might give you access to this. I'm not sure, though. I don't want to play around with it too much, but it looks like this does pop off. I'll have to look at that. It looks like there's a little screw in the back here that you can undo and maybe get access to it. Maybe you could plumb it in. I don't know. I have to take a look at it. That'll be in the full review, though. Um, okay, so let's uh, yeah, let's just load it up and see what happens. Um, let me do this drip tray. I like this drip tray. By the way, this is very very sturdy. Uh, and it's got these little rubber pieces there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but um, pretty nice. I feel like something is supposed to be going here, but I don't know. I guess not. I don't see any other pieces, so. <laughs> All right, let's uh, plug it in. I think, uh, or let me put this while my wife does the unraveling of the power cord. Right here, I got Kicking Horse Coffee. This is out of Canada. I've reviewed a couple of their coffees before. It's not bad. It's just kind of a store brand you could find relatively easy. And uh, they have a roast date and everything like that. So it's nice to see um, that on there. By the way, I, um, you know, if you if you know my channel, I, I normally have a Lelite Bianca that I use. That's my daily driver. Right now, though, so I can get all these reviews in, I'm just using these machines. So, you're going to get my real feelings on all this stuff. David, for me, David. wants to know what the uh, footprint of this is. Well, we have a... Uh, my wife must have seen this comment earlier, so she grabbed this uh, it tape measure. It's deep for sure. Uh, this is uh, about 8.75 inches wide. Yeah, if you're in another country, um, probably you'd want to do this in millimeters, I'd assume, or centimeters maybe. Yeah, this is like eight and a half. I'd say about eight and a half. It seems like it gets a little wider up top though, just by a hair, because this has like a little overhang. And then depth, uh, if you want to count the drip tray, which I would assume you do, you could let the drip tray probably overhang. We're looking at just over 16 inches, 16 and a half inches. Uh, I can't tell you the centimeters because it's not on here, and I'm not that good at math. Yeah, but um, yeah, so 17 roughly by eight and a half. Uh, so let me plug this in. Sorry about that. Let's see what this startup is like. It's always fun turning a machine on for the first time. You never know what you're going to get. Okay. Gaju Milana. A little overfill here. This is kind of hard angle for me. I got to like, I'm going to push this over to the right a little bit more so I can see it. So it says English is the default, so it must know that uh, it's here because the next one down is Italian, which is kind of funny. Um, oh, okay. So the buttons are on the left. This is not a touch screen. Are you sure you want to set the English? Yeah. Well, I think I want English. Although maybe I'll s try to learn Italian. Add beans. I already did. Please place a container under the coffee spout. Well, let's grab a different one because I have this empty coffee cup, but it's probably going to siphon some water, uh, put some water through the machine. So let's do that. And while we're doing that, press the start button. Okay, so there's a start button. I do like that. Jesus. <laughs> 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 I, 
I was not expecting it to come out of there. I thought it was saying to come out of the brew unit. I must have not read that. Maybe I should have used a different language. <laughs> Service required. What? I'm not sure I understand that. I'm not sure what's going on here. This is weird. It's a brand new machine. I don't think I did anything wrong, did I? <laughs> oh, you want to know what? I think there's a bean stuck in this sensor. If that's it, I'll be very I'll be very surprised, but because this is kind of a bad, it's going to be super easy for people to get that in there. Yep, let's see. It won't let me click through this. This is crazy. All right, let's unplug it and plug it back in and see what happens. I don't think that much water got in here. I mean, I don't know. When I moved it, some water got in some spots, but I think this is seated in. It is. Okay. Let's try this again. Yes, I want English. Successfully saved. Add beans. Did it. Place your coffee container under the coffee spout and steam. Oh, okay. So it wanted both. Service request. Okay, so the only thing I can think of is something's wrong with this water. Let's, uh. Oh, God, this thing really doesn't feel good pulling it out. Okay. Did something happen here? Is there plastic on this? This is concerning for a brand new machine for this to happen, so I'm a little confused by this. I'm going to pour this water out. Actually, I'm going to pour it right back into this. That way we have water. Okay, if you can grab me a paper towel, I just want to, like, kind of check this thing. I want to be able to... Whoops, a daisy. I want to be able to uh, at least get something on this so you guys could all see it. But this is a uh, struggle bus here today. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we have all that. Let's... Uh, Kind of get this out of here. Um, it doesn't seem like this has any issue. So this is a little this is a little strange uh, that this is giving us so much problems. Yeah, what's that inside? Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Looks like maybe you can get access to this over here, but I don't think you're supposed to pull this out on the no. first. No, I don't think so. Pretty sure that's supposed to stay in. And I don't see anything here. Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. Uh, we're going to try one more time. Katie's going to read the manual, and uh, we'll see if we can get this to work. If we can't. The setup portion of this video will have to be canceled. I'll uh, rename it just unboxing and a fail. Let's, uh, if anybody's got any comments in there, any ideas, let's uh, use the collective brain here. Okay, I've done everything right. Uh, Is it not turning on now? Wow, Gaji, you might have just uh, killed yourself in this uh, review here. I will say, I used to have a Gaji uh, Classic Pro, and I actually liked it a lot, so this is kind of a sad if it doesn't, if it doesn't work out for us. Yeah, I want to use English. Maybe if I use Italian, it'll work better. 
I've added beans. I don't think there's any. It doesn't. I don't. I didn't see any adjuster or anything like that on here, which is kind of strange. That doesn't let you change the font, the, the finest. Now maybe it lets you do it in the settings here, but let's try this one more time. Okay, not, not, now I think we got it. Water's coming out at a normal pace. I think maybe I overfilled it? No, it's still giving us a service required. Read instruction manual for more information. Any ideas? Anybody in the comments? Let's I'm just see. checking in with you for just one piece of the tape somewhere. So, yeah, I mean, I'm looking and it doesn't talk about any plastic that needs removed at all. Perfect. There are, there is a troubleshooting section. Yeah, I'm, I might have to, I might have to send this back. I think we are going to. What's the error code at the top? Five. The problem occurred in the water circuit. There is air in the water circuit. Remove and insert the tank in the machine a couple of times. Make sure it is properly heated. I mean, I've definitely... Okay. Maybe I have to... Uh, grab me a couple of paper towels. That's the last thing I'll try, is I'll try to get all this water out of here, because it did spill a little bit when we... Um, when we moved it, I moved it a little bit and some water came around. Okay, I think I pretty much got it all here. And it says just remove it and put it back in a couple of times. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Um, oh, wait a minute, I think I... I think I just got it. I think it was just off by a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to fill it up a little bit more. I think I actually got it. I think it was just not lining up good, which is kind of weird. Okay, let's see what we got. I won't let you restart this either. That's kind of annoying. You have to unplug it. Give it a couple of seconds. And plug it back in. Well, folks, I guess this is a good this is good information for you. If you bought this machine, let's see if it works though. I think I think that might have been it, but it like wasn't I think it just wasn't seated the right way. But it looks this thing can easily come a little bit to the left. So let's see if that fixed it. If it didn't, I'm calling it quits. Oh my god. This is bizarre. Alright, I'm going to try the undoing it a couple of times and putting it in real quick. And if that doesn't fix it, it is the water level is actually dropping when I'm doing this, which is kind of weird, but. Well, that's not uncommon. That's kind of why they do that is because there's like manufacturing stuff and dust and crap like that that can get in there. All right. I'm going to try this one last time just because. I just can't believe that this wouldn't work right off the bat. This might give uh this might give, it might be the worst setup ever for uh Akashia Classic. Or Akashia Magenta, I guess. I haven't seen anybody else I haven't looked at anybody else's reviews on this, but Very startling.
No. All right, this is, I've given up. <laughs> this is a sad day for uh, Gagia. I don't know what happened, but this thing can't get through its initial setup. So I'll, I'll keep playing around with it. I don't want to keep everybody on here just watching me screw around with this thing. But we, we either might have to get it exchanged, which would be a real bummer, or we'll, we'll maybe uh, try to see what the fix is, because this is really a weird, quite a weird thing. I've never seen this happen before. So we'll keep it with you. But again, thanks for joining. If you're there, if you have any last questions, I don't know if you're on there or whatever, but shoot us a question. But again, thanks for joining me live. Leave the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We are super close to hitting 5,000 subs. So we're like 30 some away. I think we're 35 away, 30 people away. So definitely do that. We'll, we'll uh, give away a machine after that or give away a grinder once we hit that. And we'll catch you in the next video. Oh, we got one comment maybe. Kay's responding via text. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you later.